Hey guys, it's Sensibility here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Amber Marie. And guys, today I'm going to talk about perfume. Uh, so today I'm going to go over, I'm going to show you a new bottle that I got in. Actually, I've been sitting on this for about a month or two. It's nothing extravagant, but it is something that's new to my collection. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you that. I'm also going to show you guys what perfume samples I have went through and the nine, ten new perfume samples I'm going to be making. So starting off with the new perfume bottle that I got in, and I believe the brand's name is Anima Vinci, right here. The number one that I want from this company is the Tudo Azure. Oh my gosh, that is probably their best fragrance. And apparently it has been discontinued. I don't know why all these companies discontinue their top sellers or one of their best fragrances in their collection. But um, I'm hoping one of these days to obtain a bottle of that. But this one is Neroli Wisdom. Uh, there, it's just a very natural, uh, better take on Neroli than, uh, for say... Um, Tom Ford's Neroli Porfino. I think that one has, like, it just leans too masculine for me. Uh, this one smells like a very unisex fragrance, and I quite enjoy this. Um, it's a little strong in the beginning, but when it settles down, you really get, like, almost like an orange blossomy, citrusy, limey type smell. And it's pretty good, so... Um, Definitely um, something that I'm excited to wear in the summertime. I'm sure it will do really good in the heat. Okay, now moving on to the perfume sample empties. Here they are, right? So these are, so we are getting ready to go into the month of April. So this is about three months worth of perfume samples that I have went through. So we have nine of them here. So... 10 more mLs and I would have cleared a 100 mL bottle in three months. Not including on top of wearing the perfumes that I wear on a daily basis. So the first one that I finished was Amouage Epic Woman. This one was all right. Um, personally, I think that there are better Amouages like Honor, um, Memoir Woman, um, Love Tuberose. I really like that Love Collection by... Um, Emma Wash. The next one was Tom Ford's Amber Absolute. Very warm, ambery, resiny type scent. There's not really any sweetness to this. Um, so if you're looking for something that's sweet, this one's definitely not for you. I enjoyed this one, but personally, Bless Baraka from Initio Parfums, I believe that's who it is, um, is still my top amber contender. It's my favorite. The next one is Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford. My husband quite enjoyed this one on me. He said it smelled really good. I thought it smelled really good. But my favorite from this one as far as tobacco goes is still Tobacco Vanelli by Tom Ford. Love it. Love it. Enjoyed it. But I do have a bottle from Aherman. Um, I think it's like Tobacco Oud edition. So I will finish up that bottle because that one is like that fragrance on steroids. It's so much better. It's it's just a beast. It's powerful. Um, but if I end up finishing the Ah uh, Herman version, I will, in fact, that would be one of the fragrances that I would purchase in the perfume oil or in the name brand. The next one is Aqua Gold. And this one smelt masculine. I had to wear this one at nighttime. Because I didn't want to go to work kind of leaning too much like a man. Um, it is a nice fragrance, but I'm going to leave this one for you gentlemen. And I'm not sure who makes Aqua Gold. The next one is Fieve Delici Delicius. Uh, which this one was decanted from the actual name brand bottle. But I still love it. Love it. Uh, we had two mystery bottles here. I don't know what were in them, but I did wear them up. And I did surprisingly get compliments on one of them. But like I said, I didn't know what it was, so I was kind of up a creek on that one. And then the last one that I finished off was Montal Wild Pears. This one in the beginning was very much a love for me. 
because I'm not a big fan of fruity scents, this was not overly powerful. But by the time I got through this 10 ml, I was already tired of it. So it's not a fragrance that I would purchase in the full size bottle. So there you go, guys. There are the nine perfume samples that I got through from January until March. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys what scents I picked. I only pulled from one container. I have six containers and they're big. If you're new to my channel, I'll pull one out so you can see approximately what the size and how many perfume oils are in here. So, oh, this is the one that I pulled from. I can't tell you how many's in here. I haven't sat there and counted, but I know it's a good couple hundred uh, perfume oils in this. So, this was the tray that I pulled from. Um, the next time I do samples, I'll pull from one of my other trays. Ugh. So when making these samples, I'm not actually going to go through the full uh, bottle of this. It's just not going to happen. Um, one of these can make you either a 30 ml or a 1.7 ounce bottle. I'm going to extract just enough to make 10 ml. So the first scent, since I'm holding it in my hand, is by Thymine. And it is the Patilia, I believe. And that one will be made in the lovely glass. 10 ml bottle. The next one is Holy Peony by Christian Dior. This comes from the Privé line. The next one is Sun Song by Louis Vuitton. The next one that I picked was Lucky by Christian Dior. Some of these I've actually been craving the scent, so it's like I'm ready to make it. The next one is YSL's Cabana. The next one is Tint de Nage by Lorenze, or Lorenzi Villores, maybe. Now, I have seen people selling this particular bottle online, but the reason why I never bought it is because it comes in EDT. So, I'm going to try it in a much stronger formulation. The next one is Sun Dazed by Byretto. We have Spring Flower by Creed. And then the last one that I picked from this particular company, just because the container held most of theirs, is Good Girl Dot Drama by Carolina Herrera. So all the ones that I just showed you that have this little pretty little design on the Atar bottles, these were purchased from Universal Perfumes and Cosmetics. This is another company that I have a large amount of perfume oils through. So as far as where most of my perfume oils come from, I either purchase them from Generic Perfumes or Universal Perfumes and Cosmetics. My largest amount and volume of perfumes were from those two locations. And that container just happened to have a lot from that company. The last one that I'm going to do in a 10 ml was purchased from Generic Perfumes, uh, which is the second company that I, I probably have the most perfume oils from this actual company, and then Universal Perfumes and Cosmetic is the second runner-up. And the scent that I picked was Virgin Island Water by Creed. I love this one. I think it's very pretty, beautiful summer, springy type scent, um, definitely unisex. And then the last one that I selected was actually one that I took down with me into Florida when I went on vacation. You can see the dent in it. And this one I'm going to make in a 15 ml. I had one of my subscribers send me this and I graciously uh, used all of this. I quite enjoyed this. I could not find a bottle of this because this particular scent... It's Ming Shu Fleure, Fleure is discontinued, so I figured I'm not going to throw this away. It's still a good traveler, and it can hold 15 ml. So I will be making Gran Balo by Zerdorf. Um, Even though I've seen a lot of people selling this particular scent, probably because it has a performance issue. I haven't tried it in the name brand, um, but... 
this is one of the reasons I am making it in a 15 ml, but to me, it smells so, so pretty. I love this one. So I'm going to make myself a little bit bigger bottle of it. So there you go, guys. There are, that's the new perfume I got in. Those are the perfume oil samples that I've went through. And these are the new scents that I'm going to be making. Um, I still have probably half of my perfume samples left. So those will be the next ones I use. And it will allow these perfume oils time to set up and macerate. So for the 10 mLs, I'm sure you guys are wondering, how much perfume oil am I going to be using? Because Lord only knows. Um, these are actually, I believe, Universal Perfumes and Cosmetics makes theirs in 6 mLs. So therefore, dividing this into threes would be 2 mLs in here. So we will have 2 mLs of perfume oil, a few drops of vegetable glycerin, and then the rest will be topped. Um, yes, but Generic Perfumes sends theirs in 5 mLs. So I will have to divide that into thirds. And it's not quite 2 mLs. It's a little less than that. But that's what I will do with this one. And then as far as the uh, 15 mL goes, um, I will have to figure out the ratio on this. Because if the max that I usually do on, I will probably do about 3 mLs, I believe, on this 15 one. Um, because I don't try to go no more than two in the samples and the 10 mLs. So this one will probably be three because we do have that extra 5 mL volume in here. So there you go, guys. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Put them in the comment section down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. With that said, you guys have an awesome day. Happy Easter, and as always, guys, happy perfume shopping. Bye, guys.